Hey, what's up everyone? In part three of this music room build, I'm bringing in the components. Behind this console is a typical duplex electrical outlet, and I have five things to plug in. I don't want a power strip on the floor or another piece of AV gear to hide. I wanted something flat with outlets on the sides to keep the console as close to the wall as possible. This APC 6 outlet surge protector was exactly what I needed. It's flat and has three outlets on each side. I have links to the products mentioned in this video down in the description. I pre-ran all the power cables to make setup easier. With the console back in place, I start hooking up the Cocktail Audio X45. This high resolution audio player and DAC is packed full of amazing features. The main items of interest for me were more basic. It has a phono preamp, HDMI arc, supports every major high resolution audio format and includes balanced outputs for external amps. Looking at the back panel, the analog connections are gold plated and appear to be really high quality. The optical and HDMI cables are from the TV and these were already installed during video 2 of this series. With the Cocktail Audio X45 having our compatibility, not only can I navigate the X45's on-screen menus, I can still enjoy Plex or any other features of the Smart TV, either through the HDMI or optical cable. This is my first time using balanced XLR audio connections for regular home audio. Whenever I need cables and I don't want to build them myself, I'll order online from Blue Jeans Cable out of Seattle, Washington. There is no mystery in what you get. They show you exactly what they use in each cable type right on the website. The build quality is excellent and they use high quality connectors. They're not a sponsor, I just call things as I see them. Each XLR is dropped down to the cubbies where the amps are going. The Nord 1 NC500MB monoblock amplifier came highly recommended by the audio community. These are built and shipped out of the UK. These are Hypex based Class D amps with gold plated mounting posts. Not only is the build impressive with an aluminum case, they offer lots of power and energy efficiency. I've been going back and forth on buying a turntable for almost 10 years now. I chose the Fluence model RT85 in Lucky Bamboo. It's not loaded with any bells or whistles, just the most basic of features to ensure good quality audio. They offer several finishes, but I wanted something lighter, but not white. It includes the 2M Blue cartridge, a hefty acrylic platter, a solid wood plinth, and three spike type adjustable isolation feet. The turntable comes with its own cables and they seem decent enough. To avoid the risk of interference or audio degradation, I used their three foot cable when I really needed closer to five. I was so lucky to find an audio player and DAC with a phono preamp. Back to Blue Jeans cables again for these incredible speaker cables. These are made with Canair 4S11 and have locking banana connectors that are sonically welded. Normally I make my own, 
but I didn't want to make anything that was part of the audio chain. I could never make cables this good anyway, so they were worth it. It's time for some heavy lifting. These are the Philharmonic Audio BMR Towers. They're upside down right now because of the floor spikes. If you don't already own something designed by Dennis Murphy, either you never heard of these or you're on the waiting list to get them. It takes months to get these when pre-orders go live. The cabinets are built and slow boated in from China and the speaker drivers are made elsewhere in the world. Everything is brought to Maryland and hand assembled in a garage by just a few people, then shipped FedEx to you. Boutique speaker building is not glamorous, but the results can be astounding. But once you hear them, you don't care where or how they're made. With the speakers in place, all that's left is to hook up the interconnects. A minor problem with the room layout, anyone in a drunken stupor can smash the right speaker with the door. I got a pack of these floor mount door stops and just screwed that sucker into the floor. My camera blurred that entire scene for art. I bet that little baby bumper will save the day. The music room is nearly complete. All that's left is a few decorations and somewhere to sit. I probably should have thought of that. First time powering up. I wonder what will happen. I know. In part 4 of the video series, I'll show you the Cocktail Audio X45 setup and conclude this music room with a full demonstration and review. See you then.